Nick speaking and welcome to this video right another battle report for you uh, can't wait to play this game it's going to be Necrons uh, me in this corner versus my faithful opponent the Blood Angels um, and we are playing big guns never tire uh, we've got four objectives so I'll run over those quickly first we have one in this building one in the center of the board one over there in that circular piece of terrain and one over there behind the abyss in the Blood Angels deployment zone. Uh, Blood Angels are currently going second uh, deployment wise they've deployed two squads of land speeders there with uh, heavy bolters and the uh, hurricane missile launchers. We've got two last cannon Razorbacks with five guys in each one, two bow predators We've got a big jump pack death company squad over there and in reserve we have a storm raven with a chaplain and some vanguards we are playing 1850 points um, and for the necrons i am playing this list you may recognize this list from my game against ace face um, but basically i have the reclamation legion uh, the Overlord currently is uh, just standing right at the back there. I'll explain this squad in a second. Um, then I have a squad of 10 warriors there. The Tomb Blades from the Legion. Uh, another squad of 10 warriors just there. And right over the other side, a uh, squad of 5 Immortals. Also have some death marks in reserve. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a few destroyers. I have the destroyer cult, three squads of uh, destroyers, one squad of heavy destroyers, and a destroyer lord. And uh, he's going to he's going to join the uh, death the death marks in reserve. He has a void reaper. I then have this squad here of sword and board light guard, um, and I've also taken um, a um, what's it called now? Can't remember what it's called now for some reason. Uh, basically the HQ formation, so I've got a uh, Vargard, a Cryptic and another Overlord with a, another Warsai. Uh, the Cryptic's got the Solar Staff. So that is my list, as I said, 1850 points. Uh, Blood Angels are going to attempt to seize the initiative, could potentially be a vital role. Let's see it. Does that count as cheating? I think that might be count as cheating. <laughs> oh, that was nearly a six. It's just a one though, so uh, Blood Angels will be going second as we go into Necrons, turn one. Okay, so turn one for the Necrons. Um, and of course, now I'm not thinking about it, I can remember the formation over there was the Royal Court formation. And um, I used uh, Vargard's Veil of Darkness to uh, deep strike over there. Um, and then I ran in the movement phase four inches and also popped off the Cryptic's Solar Staff. Um, because of the deployment I wasn't really in range of much so I basically just moved and uh, moved in the assault phase just repositioned all of the destroyers the only thing that could shoot was the heavy destroyers and they shot the group of skimmers that were just over there I uh, managed to destroy one uh, skimmer and the other one um, is stunned and then uh, over here just moved these warriors up towards this uh, building along with the tomb blades and everything just uh, basically moving forward being a little bit aggressive with this uh, neck on list tonight okay so we are now going to move into a turn one for the blood angels okay so blood angels turn one um, basically making good use of my uh, small 24 inch gun range uh, the blood angels decided to basically back off uh, maintaining the long gun range that they have on the last cannons and on the missiles etc there uh, so they all moved back they started off snapshotting at my squad of destroyers here nothing from the snapshots however the second squad of speeders there did manage to uh, destroy one destroyer uh, the two last cannons over there shot the destroyers as well one last cannon missed the other one took a wound off of the front guy um, over this side of the table the two preds moved up and fast and then the death company managed to get into the assault even going through cover quite unusual for the blood angels um, but they failed miserably in the assault all that massive death company squad couldn't take out one necron immortal um, i also failed to wound back so nothing basically happened just locked in combat um, and that was turn one for the blood angels so we're now going to move into turn two for the necrons and of course i have my reserves so i'm just going to roll now see if i can get my death marks out 
a four, so yes they do. So turn two coming up for the Necrons. Okay, so Necron turn two. Uh, yep, my death marks did come on. Um, I deep striked them just over there. Uh, I didn't scatter, aiming up the rear armor of that Predator. Uh, moved the uh, Death Star unit over towards this building here where the death marks were and then I aligned my two um, or sorry the three heavy destroyers and then the three destroyers at that predator there now I was trying to get first blood uh, I did manage to destroy the flamer thing that's on there um, got two hull points off but failed to destroy it so it's left with one hull point and no gun and no first blood uh, the death marks um, Unfortunately there's just no troops for them to use their special rules so I just had to shoot the Pred. Um, I just got one six, I managed to uh, take one whole point off but that was pretty much it. So you can see the death marks there. Uh, this time without their extra attacks and plus one for furious charge uh, did manage to destroy my um, immortals. Uh, lost uh, four immortals and then I got chased down so swept so they are free to roam which is uh, slightly worrying I did try to move my destroyers back as far as I could in case that happened um, but I am very very vulnerable there um, over there the uh, what else happened oh yes the tomb blades I moved up 12 inches, managed to shoot the speeders that were there, uh, took the um, additional hull points off of the one that was already wounded, so just one speeder left, um, and then everything else really took pop shots um, at these, that pred there that could reach just one or two shots, one from this destroyer squad that was on that uh, piece of terrain, um, but did nothing. I did however do some quite nice movements, managed to get those warriors up into that piece of terrain with the objective and I managed to get those warriors there with that objective. But we are now moving into the Blood Angels turn 2, uh, so they're one kill point up at the moment and now they have their reserves, so let's see if this Storm Raven comes in. A 1, no not this turn. Okay so turn 2 for the Blood Angels. The Death Company, as predicted, uh, moved up here with their jetpacks, uh, managed to shoot um, and then assault my destroyers, munching through my destroyers quite nicely there. Uh, just one destroyer left um, and I killed nothing. Uh, the destroyer's just on one wound. Um, over here, the bow pred um, aimed up his heavy flamer thing on me um, and then the two guys got out of there. Uh, so I received the flamer um, then both last cannons, rapid firing squads there. Um, I lost four death marks, no wounds thanks to some good lookout sirs um, on the destroyer lord. Uh, the um, speeders shot in at uh, the two destroyers that were there um, and managed to take both of those out and then the single destroyer that was just over there shot into those and did nothing. Um, and that was it. So we are now going to move into the Necron turn three. Okay so Necron turn three, um, another pretty uneventful turn for me really to be fair, it just didn't really happen. Um, I moved up the Tomb Blades, got into rapid fire range of the single speeder and I totally whiffed. Um, shot the destroyers here um, into the squad of three um, speed is. I did manage to kill one um, and then a cover save was taken on the last dice um, and successfully done. Um, and then I moved the Death Star unit up towards the Death Company. Um, I did need a fairly big roll, probably about seven or eight inches, uh, but I rolled three inches so they just stood still. Uh, in the meantime the Death Company uh, took out the destroyer and just consolidated their couple of inches. The heavy destroyers here um, got uh, three shots through on the Predator, uh, but he saved everything with the cover save. Um, I moved in the assault phase, I had nine inch movement. I could have moved backwards, uh, would have put them totally out of action. Obviously I knew the Death Company were going to be free to roam this next turn coming. Uh, so in the end I put them right next to Death Company, just giving them a choice now. So they're either going to destroy these heavy destroyers or probably head over to the Warriors. Either way, I've got my Death Star there awaiting for them. Um, and then over here, the only good thing that happened for me was the Void Reaper managed to go in and uh, take the last two hold points off. So that did give me a victory point for killing um, a heavy support, um, but that was pretty much it. 
Um, as we move into now turn three for the Blood Angels, and uh, the Storm Raven is still to come. So let's uh, see if it comes out. The three, yep, it comes out this turn. More to come. Okay, so turn three for the Blood Angels. Uh, started off over here in this little corner, uh, working on my destroyer unit that was just there. Um, I lost one destroyer, and uh, both of those other destroyers have one wound each. I took another wound at the back there from the Storm Raven that came on from the corner there. Shot everything into these. Uh, missed with the twin linked plasma and the twin linked melter. Um, but did manage to take a wound off. Um, the two last cannons there and the last cannon in that back squad also shot in, uh, did that damage. The other guys that were just there shot into the unit that was there, killed the last and death marks. The other pred that was just hanging around there is just uh, moving away there because that is a vulnerable point, uh, just on one whole point there. The Death Company, um, yeah, they went for the Heavy Destroyers as I thought they would. Uh, took me down quite easily. Uh, this is the first time I've actually been able to shoot them because they've been locked in combat so far. Um, after the assault, they only ran one inch. Even so, they're quite far away from me. Um, and although I can shoot them now, I have no guns. I've literally got no guns left. So it's going to be quite interesting as we move in to turn four for the Necrons. Okay, so Necrons turn four, just trying to make the most of the units that I've actually got left. So the Storm Raven was there, rapid fire range of my warriors, they couldn't shoot anything anyway. So I did rapid fire them into this Raven. Um, it didn't jink um, and I managed to get uh, one whole point off. Um, over here in the movement phase, um, I moved uh, the Overlord, uh, both Overlords and the Cryptic, and uh, they joined the Warriors. Uh, the Warriors rapid fired into there, um, but did nothing. Um, I then moved the Light Guard unit with Vargard towards the objective in that uh, piece of uh, terrain there. I then shot the two destroyers into this pred, managed to take the last hole points off, even with a cover save, so that was another victory point for me. Um, and then I just uh, moved in the assault phase, just trying to hide behind this obelisk a little bit. Over the other side of the table there, the Tomb Blades moved up and rapid fired the single skimmer that was just there. I managed to take one whole point off. The Lord here, he moved up six inches. Um, he was overwatched. Uh, one wound came through, but he saved it. Um, I rolled well on the assault range. I managed to get into the assault, um, but then he, he rolled abysmal, basically. Um, I did kill one Marine. They didn't run, no wounds back. Uh, so we're just locked in combat there. And that was it. So we are now gonna move into turn four for the Blood Angels. Uh, let's see what they can do. Okay, so turn four for the Blood Angels. Uh, the Storm Raven here went to hover mode. The Chaplain and the Vanguards got out. They've all got lightning claws and uh, the with the Chaplain Zealot made very, very light work of my warriors. So all warriors killed, just consolidated onto the objective. Um, over here, the Death Company moved up with their jet packs or jump packs right over that piece of terrain. Tried to assault me. Um, I killed one in Overwatch. Um, and they failed their assault range, are just uh, standing there. Um, over this side of the table, the um, other squad of tactical marines, uh, they just went in and uh, continued to pile in the assault there. Um, I did lose one wound on my lord, um, and I killed uh, two, no, I think three, wasn't it? Yeah, three marines uh, were just locked in combat, no leaderships were fouled. And then over here, uh, the last cannons and the speeders all shot into my uh, tomb blades. I lost two tomb blades. Um, I didn't jink, um, so I'm just standing there. I took my leadership check and I didn't fail that. And that was it. As we move into turn five, and potentially the last turn, it's quite an interesting game this. We'll see what happens. Okay, so the Necron turn five. Uh, did some jiggery pokery here. Um, I split off the Overlord, not the Warlord, just the normal Overlord from the uh, Royal Court, and also a Cryptic. I used the Cryptic to take the Overwatch. Um, I then piled both units in uh, the Assault. I did pretty well. I did take a wound off of the... Sorry, I did have a wound taken off of my Overlord, uh, but I did manage to kill, uh, was it four Death Company, I think, altogether? 
the Thunder Hammer was out of assault range after it piled in initiative one. Uh, so I got away with that slightly there. Uh, so that was pretty useful. Uh, the warriors here though are looking slightly in trouble because over there is a chaplain who's uh, within salt range so I think he's going to split off and come and get me. Uh, I did leave the uh, lords there just to have something in that unit but we'll see what happens. The light guard uh, just consolidated around that objective. The destroyer lord up over there he managed to um, kill three guys. Uh, and then both units ran away. So uh, single man there just running near the objective, the other man running just over there, consolidated only two inches, and of course uh, these guys are all objective have secured anyway. Uh, the tomb blade shot um, to the two skimmers, I got a double one, and then assaulted the skimmers, um, and I rolled another double one. So nothing happened there. Um, and that was my turn five. I'm going to move into potentially the last turn, turn five for the Blood Angels. Okay, so turn five for the Blood Angels. The Storm Raven still hovering, uh, moved on to this objective here to claim that objective. Uh, the Chaplain and the Vanguard moved over there 12 inches, assaulted my Warrior Squad here. I did actually pretty well in the um, assault. Uh, to be fair, there's just uh, two, is it two guys left? Yeah, two guys left. I did lose some warriors, um, but um, the important thing though for them is that obviously they've con contested the objective. Um, over here, I uh, did quite well again. I managed to kill two death guard, a uh, death company, one death company left with the thunder hammer thing. Um, I managed to save um, my feel no pain against that, so we just locked in combat. Um, up over here, um, sadly I lost my Tomb Blade, uh, my Line Breaker um, that I had, uh, so that was destroyed by the um, Speeders, um, and also lost my Overlord as well. Uh, so, not too much left on the table really, to be fair, on both sides. It's been a bit of a bloodbath. Um, let's see if the game goes on. A one. No, the game ends. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, final. <clears throat> excuse me. So, final count is uh, three points there for the Blood Angels. Three points there for the Blood Angels. They also have first blood and one point for killing um, a heavy support. The de heavy destroyers went down. So that's uh, eight points to the Blood Angels. Uh, this one in the middle, as I said, is contested. I have that objective there, so that's three points. I have two points for killing heavy supports, uh, so I've got five points. So the victory is eight points to five to the Blood Angels. Well done to the Blood Angels. Uh, great game, and hang around if you want to for the tactical table. Tactical table. And welcome to this tactical table. Just a, a quick chat about the game. Um, so yeah, uh, four objectives of course were chosen. Uh, my buddy won the, the role to, to decide where to go, so obviously he went over in that corner, um, which meant that I was in this corner with literally no objectives. I had this one just over here, but everything was spread out quite heavily, um, so I was uh, had a bit of a disadvantage really from the beginning uh, plus of course as usual with the Necron range of guns only 24 inches just meant my buddy was uh, casting up in the corner it took me a good couple of turns to even be able to shoot him really um, tried to take advantage of that um, and try to sort of control the board with my army um, the light guard units, of course, one disadvantage with that. Uh, so many points in that one unit, and if it gets ignored, um, that's you know a massive pink, uh, point sink. Um, especially when you have things like Death Company with jump packs, um, very difficult to, to chase them um, as such when you've only got 6 inch movement and uh, they've got 12 inch movement. The Death Company did very, very well. Um, good placement, I would say, for my buddy, putting them up over there um, and obviously getting straight into my army. Um, I had no opportunity to shoot them, which is quite annoying. Um, for some reason, the Death Company on the charge 
was failing quite miserably, even with their plus one attack, um, well, two, plus two attacks um, for the charge, and then the plus one to strength. Uh, they really should have wiped out my immortals. They should have wiped out my destroyers, but they didn't. They held locked in combat, and that meant I couldn't shoot them. And when I finally had a chance to shoot them, um, I had nothing left because the land speeders over there, all those uh, missile launchers, the heavy bolters, and then the last cannons uh, from the uh, Razorbacks were just making good work of my destroyers. Um, Reclamation Legion was really useful having the 4 plus RP roll against all of those um, missile launchers and las cannons. One of the great things about this list is pretty much everything is at least toughness 6, uh, sorry, at least toughness 5. So I do um, get my standard 4 plus RP rather than being reduced to 5 plus for being double toughness. Uh, so it's quite a survivable list. Um, and if it didn't have that facility uh, or function, then I, I would have lost a lot more of my army. Having said that, um, if I wasn't in the Reclamation Legion um, or the Decorium um, and I had Objective Secure, I would have actually drawn the game because um, this this objective here with my warriors on, I would have actually scored that objective. Um, as it was, it was just contested because I didn't have uh, Objective Secure. Um, but without, a, you know, if I had not got objective secure, I probably would have been a, a dead a lot quicker anyway. So it's twos and throws, swings and roundabouts with that. Um, in this instance, um, obviously, it made quite a big difference. Um, so the end result, um, eight, uh, what was it? So eight, five, quite a respectable result. Um, yeah, I think my, my buddy played the game well. Um, this objective here, uh, in the end, I had to put the light guard on there. I was uh, slightly concerned. I thought he would probably move his uh, raise, razor backs up fast, contest, and grab that objective. So I just had to um, surround it. Um, I think I coped quite well tactically here, uh, taking the HQs off, holding up the death company. Sadly, I couldn't do anything about this uh, this uh, vanguard unit. If the Vanguard unit hadn't been able to have got into the middle, it may have been a different story. Uh, may, have, may have got the draw. Uh, line Breaker, I tried my best to hold up Line Breaker with those Tomb Blades, but uh, just couldn't quite do it. And sadly, the Destroyer Lord also went down at the last minute as well um, there. So all in all, very good game. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, the list itself... Um, probably, to be fair, not the greatest list against vehicles. I knew my buddy would probably have vehicles um, because uh, obviously he'd played those last time and the list was really good. I think it's a great list that he's got there. Um, and he's he's mentioned that there's more to come with that list as well. As he's got some more developments, probably taking it up to 2K, which is great. It's really good to have a list um, to, to play against, which is obviously challenging me so really really chuffed for my buddy he's got a good list uh, really really enjoyed the game and uh, can't wait for more so that's it for this little chat i really hope you enjoyed the battle report thank you very much for watching as always and i'll see you in the next video